Welcome back to uh, Sun and Fun 2025. I'm Rex Alexander with Aero News Network, and Rosie Roosevelt is with me. Rosie is actually not only here at Sun and Fun, but she runs an airframe and power plant program on these campuses. So Rosie, tell me a little bit about how you got into aviation, what your background is. I was actually born in aviation. My grandfather used to fly the president of GE and bought some property up in upstate New York, taught his sons how to first build the aircraft and then fly the aircraft. And my family's been in aviation ever since. When I became an adult, I joined the United States Navy in 1990, where I was a first of three women aboard combat aircraft carriers. That's what got the women into combat. Mm -hmm. I worked on F-18s and H-53s in the Navy. Got out of that and started into the civilian world. I achieved my uh, AMP certificate and started working uh, GA, which is your smaller aircraft. Then I got into some corporate stuff in 135. And then I started teaching. Um, I went kind of back and forth from teaching to our local MRO over at PEMCO. And then I found this program and started developing it. And since then, we've more than doubled our capacity. So the name of this program? Travis Technical College. Okay, and it's a full airframe and power plant yes, technical college. So yes, how long is that program? Is it a two-year program? I, I tell people, it really, honestly, it takes two years to build a good mechanic. No, I would agree 100%. So with that, what what are you seeing as far as uh, numbers of students and maybe the demographics of students? What are you seeing for women getting into aviation as of our maintenance? As of now, women only incorporate 2.8% of all maintenance technicians. That's all, well, okay. So we are getting uh, more and more interest in that. Before, women thought they really couldn't do this, and you can. Where strength is needed, women use leverage. Women are just as capable do, of doing anything on that aircraft. In fact, in a lot of times, we're better because we multitask a lot better than men do, and we can crouch down and get into smaller places. Yeah, no, I agree. On numbers of total airframe and power plant uh, technicians that you're able to produce, mm -hmm. is there is there a need? Is there a huge need? As are we filling the need, or do we need more people? I believe they have reported that in the next five years, we're going to be short at least 42,000 mechanics. Wow. And every year it gets worse because... Our mentors, our, our older mechanics with the experience, are now being processed out and or retiring. And it's leaving a big gap in there. And that gap is going to have to be taken up by those professional A&P uh, schools. Because without that mentorship already out there, they say that the license they earn in school is a license to learn. But when you don't have anybody to learn from out there, that puts a lot more responsibility on the schools themselves to instill all that information in our program. Not only do we teach you how to build and maintain an aircraft, but we also teach you how to survive aviation. Now, if someone was interested, you have a facility here on the airport in Lakeland, Florida. How did they find you? Uh, on two ways. Here at Santa Fun, we have an open house that's been open all week. Or just simply Google Travis. Travis is spelled with two S's. And you'll get to their website, and then you contact them. They'll put you in touch with me, and you can schedule a tour of the program while I'll step you out for the whole process and what our schedules are. We have a day and the night shift, so we have a choice for people. Okay. Our tuition is controlled by the state, so we're at just a little bit over $13,000, where most of your for-profit schools are at least thirty, and some of them go as far up as seventy, eighty, and even $100,000. Wow, that's good to know. Our Thank students... You graduate or leave our program without a student debt. That's very phenomenal. So, well, Rosie, it's a pleasure and an honor to speak to you. I greatly appreciate it. So if you're interested in aviation, interested in maintenance and airframe and power plant techniques, give Rosie a call. We'll set you up and get you started in an aviation career that'll last you a lifetime. So thanks again from Sun and Fun 2025. I'm Rex Alexander for Aero News Network. Sensenic to me is an iconic aviation brand. Here we go, we're taxiing out. First rip on the new prop. Bump bottle now? This prop is really, really bites. So you picked up a little bit. Oh, yeah, about 15 miles an hour. Oh, that's quite a bit. Something we worked really hard at Sensenic 
the last five years is to try and combine the best performance both at low speed and high speed with our composite crops. And I really think on this one, we've done it.